Well, third places are important because they help people to feel a part of their community. It's where you bump into people, come across familiar characters, just your regular neighbours or people passing by, and it makes people feel more at home. All sorts of places which allow anybody to visit, they're not exclusive. You don't have to be a member and um, you will interact with your neighbourhood people. Socially, if you don't have enough third places, you're running a very big risk of fracturing social cohesion, uh, reducing neighbourhood friendliness, uh, declining trust amongst people, uh, and just generally a lower investment in community. Well, we can safeguard them by not selling them off to developers. Uh, this actually was saved by the community. It was uh, some land which was cut off by the freeway and it had been derelict, just long grass, and the neighbourhood petitioned for a couple of years to have access to it for a community garden. So this is a citizen-led third place, really. When we're master planning communities, and that's very often what we're doing now, particularly on the outer suburbs of our cities, is we're master planning communities. So it is possible in those situations to actually design in third places from the outset. So to make sure that there is uh, part of the built environment and the physical fabric there that accommodates third place provision and provides somewhere where third places can exist.